Hello friends and welcome back to another episode here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on again with our Series 7 content that we've been featuring since the new rules got introduced at the start of November, and we'll be featuring this team that you can see on your screen right now, which is including one of the new horse Pokemon, Spectre, which is the Ghost type. We've already covered a team with Glastria, and I'm sure it will return as such a good Pokemon, but today we're going to take a closer look at Spectre, its counterpart, and uh, the team is made up of the Spectre, the Ndidi Hatterene, the Tokol Venusaur and Urshifu. So it's got a lot of kind of reference points to series kind of five, series six teams with the um, the, the talk, well, series five teams we'll say, because series six, we had the ban list, but obviously with the, the Tokol Venusaur combination there, the Hatterene and Didi, and Didi a very nice partner for Spectre as well, obviously throws up the psychic terrain, makes it immune to any priority attacks, especially Sucker Punch and things like that, that could be a little bit problematic for it. And also provides that follow me support, which protects it completely against ghost type attacks that are very threatening to it especially things like Dragapult. We'll get into the details of the team, we'll have a couple of games with it as we always do and then now we'll throw the rental team up at the end of the episode. There will be a poker piece down below in the description so without further ado hopefully you enjoy the episode today. Thanks for tuning in and we'll jump into our first game. Right, our first opponent today, wow playing a Latios. So uh, a very long time since I've seen one of these Pokemon but Latios we've got the Comfy, the Galarian Moltres, Regieleki, Land and Metagross. Anyway, what are we going to do? I think Spectre here is incredibly good. Obviously, we need to be a little bit careful around things like the, the Moltres because you can't really hit it for, for super effective damage and the Regieleki, which is just going to outspeed us and cause us all sorts of problems. I do think as well that our Trick Room mod with Torkoal is very strong here. Um, just because if we, we're able to get a Trick Room up, we are going to be able to do a lot of damage to this team, especially with Tokol Hat on the field. That's going to be like a board position. I don't think there's very much my opponent can do if we get that set up to kind of counteract that, honestly. Um, so I think that's probably the main mode we'll go for. Um, and if we're doing that, I mean, it's an Indeedy Hat lead, isn't it? The only thing that would really worry me a little bit is Comfy trying to reverse our Trick Room. Um... And do we bring Spectre to this one? I think we do. We'll just bring it because it's obviously the new Pokemon. We're going to feature it. Urshifu, quite a nice Pokemon here as well. Obviously with the Scarf on this team, it does allow us a little bit more flexibility. We've got the, the Pivot out there with U-Turn. Helps us out a bunch. But I've been looking at the new format for ages and I don't know why Indeedy Hat hasn't been played, especially with the Torkoal support. I think it's an incredibly strong core and does very well against a lot of the stuff in the, the current format. Right, well, we are seeing Landorus and Moltres. Now, they like the thing that Moltres and Landorus have going for them is obviously the, the spread damage that they're able to do with uh, the Fiery and Wrath, is it? Fiery Wrath from Moltres, which is a double target attack, and obviously the uh, Rock Slide as well, and I'm sure that is what my opponent will be going for here with um, with the, the redirection that we've got on the field from Ndidi and Hat. Now, we do have the Psychic Seed on Hatterene, is going to allow us a little bit more room to um, to get set up. The other option here is what we could do is just maybe forego completely our Trick Room mod and just max Hat and just nuke the the Moltres, which isn't a bad idea at all. Um, and we could just expand in force and do that. I'm kind of tempted to do that, honestly, because my opponent's expecting us to do that. Uh, we do need to be a little bit careful with, with the Metagross. It could be in the back. And this is the reason why I feel like maybe getting up our Trick Room is just going to be the, the game the game winner. It's going to be very risky doing it. I mean, we can go for a turn one. If it doesn't play out turn two, we'll try and take down the Landorus, I think. Um, there's a Fiery Wrath one. So let's see the damage like. Yeah, indeed, not taking that super well. But we do have the Sash. Oh, wow. Earthquake. So... We, we, the, the likelihood is we'll actually be able to get a trick room up. We're not going to get our, our um... yeah, we do get the trick room. Okay, don't get our expanding force off, but that's fine. Like indeed, he's done his job here, and now we can bring in Torkoal. And now we can start doing some nice, nice work because this is this this is a board position that we talked about at the start. This might be a quick one, but it might not be as well. So. We'll see what my opponent got. I think my opponent would have been better, honestly, going for 
uh, the, the the rock slide just for the the double flinch chance uh we'll go for a gmax smite into the moltres and we'll go for an eruption i don't feel like there's too much my opponent's got to actually counteract this so it might be a quick one might not be like i say though we'll see we're locked in the eruption should take down the landorus and the GMAX smite coming in handy as well, obviously with the confusion chance that we get from uh, Hatterene. Hatterene's taken a lot of damage, which isn't ideal, but hopefully the combination here will be able to clear the field. Uh, we may see the Moltres max, but it wouldn't. it's not the most ideal position for my opponent to uh, max. So... We'll see, we'll see. G-Max might should take the Moltres down unless we see it protect. Then there is a small chance that it might be able to survive. We are seeing something, Max. Ooh, it's going to be the Landorus, I think. I think it's going to be the Lando. Which is not great for us because I think, yeah, the Landorus. We, we are going to need a Confusion hit here. 100%. Going to need it to hit itself in Confusion because there's no way an Eruption takes it down from... Uh, full range sucker punch the psychic terrain is up so I mean that's it doesn't really help us there too much do proc that berserk ability um, yeah we need we are gonna 100% need that lander to hit itself in confusion but we are using gmax smite so there is always that chance I feel confident this hat's a good hat come on Get the hit, get the hit, get the hit, get the hit, get the hit. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is why we use GMAX Smite, because it's just so bust. Right, well, this pretty much seals the game up for us. If they get an attack off there, I think into either target, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, so we'll go for another eruption, and we'll go for the Mindstorm now into the Landorus, because I feel like we'll probably see Floor healing. The other, the other issue could be... Uh, that we may see here is Max Guard. Okay, the ally switch coming out, which is not great. And the eruption is enough to get the comfy, which is perfect. They got an ally switch here as well. Maybe the crit did matter. We're getting very lucky, but I mean... Ally switch. You kind of get what you deserve, really. I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you will be on my side on this one. Right, well, if it's the Metagross to come in, then, I mean, this is a very quick one. We might get a, a few games in today, which is always good, because, obviously, Spectre is kind of the, the Pokemon that we've been talking about in this team, so it would be nice to see a little bit of that, but it has to be, I think, the right conditions to bring it, as Regieleki comes in as the last one, but with Trick Room up, we're kind of in a, a nice position, as my opponent cancels the battle. So, as I say, a very quick one today, but... Um, the team's kind of shown what it's capable of in certain situations so we'll move on to our next opponent and we'll get another battle in up next we've got our salamence incineroar rillaboom tapu finny amoongus and stack attacker so what have we got on this team we've definitely got a trick room mode with the stack attacker and you've got pretty good support there with the amoongus and uh, the tapu finny as well um, and then two fake out support Pokemon. It kind of makes me feel like Stack Attacker and Salamence are kind of the main kind of um, Pokemon on this team. Not really sure what the Salamence is going to be doing. And I think honestly, like Hat and Didi doesn't do too bad a job here. We have to be very careful though, because uh, the Stack Attacker will underspeed everything of our Trick Room mod. Now, maybe it's an, a good opportunity for us to bring um, Spectre here, uh, in all honesty. It feels like it can do a lot of work in this game. Um, and even if the trick room goes up, we're not, we'll not be in the worst position at all. Um, and what's going to be a great, a great lead. I mean, Venusaur is not bad here. I think hat is nice. In case the trick room does go up, but against the stack attacker, it's not so good. Um, I think we've got Urshifu. Let's go. Mm, yeah, let's bring... No, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring in Didi. And then Urshifu. And we'll bring Torkoal in the back. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. And we'll get to see Spectre. At least we get to see it in this second match. This is a tricky team. Because there's like a lot of kind of middle speeding Pokemon. There's lots of support there with the terrain dis 
disruption from grassy terrain from the Rillaboom, the the Tapu Fini as well. Then you've got Intimidate, probably both on Salamence and in in uh, Incineroar as well, which yeah, it makes it it makes it a little bit tricky to to play around this sort of team. But we are seeing the the Salamence and the Incineroar come out as a lead for us. Now we do have the option where we could potentially go for a helping hand. Max Phantasm into the Salamence. I'm kind of tempted to do that. It just to start the ball rolling with with uh, Spectria. The other option is maybe, well, is the Salamence going to max and go max Airstream? That's the question. Because we could just go follow me and completely protect Spectria. But I do worry about um, the Snarl from the opposing Incineroar. <sighs> And I don't really want to bring in Urshifu just yet. Because if we bring in Urshifu on the Ndidi slot, there is a chance that the Salamence will go for the Max Airstream, I would imagine. I think we go for, for this and see if we can get the Salamence with a helping hand. We do have the spell tag on Spectre. Okay, so Salamence actually switching out. Whatever comes in is going to take... Well, they're going to overwrite the terrain, so... I'm going to try and fake out in DD, I think. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe we do just see the snarl. You know, it always makes me think, is it worth putting weakness policy on Spectre? Be just because of these situations, especially if Incineral, Snarl Incineral becomes a little bit more popular to kind of neuter things like Spectre, then it would make a lot of sense. The weakness policy kind of really punishes that play. Hoping we see a helping, a uh, fake out. That's that would be perfect. No, no fake out. But we are able to. Wow, wow. <laughs> That's so strong. Spectre is so bust, so broken, it's so good. Okay, well we start the Grim Near ability. Uh, proc that, get the special attack boost. We're gonna see this. So you know, just go for a taunt. Okay, well that's kind of fine. We can't help in hand anymore, but we can't redirect anymore but we are plus one which is nice it's a pay we don't have the helping hand because we could have went for a uh, helping hand max quake into incineral which would have been incredibly good um now is it what can we do max phantasm again or do we max guard this time We can get to plus two. That would be incredible. Um, I'm going to try and bring in. Oh, we need Urshifu. Really, really. Yeah, we need we need Urshifu. This is the thing. Like, I really feel like hmm, we could just stay in and just expand in force. And that would probably be enough. Uh, no, let's not. Let's let's switch in Urshifu. If we, if we lose Urshifu, it's going to be a bit tricky. But I'm hoping we've got enough to take down the Salamence. That's all we need to do here is take down the Salamence. Salamence probably going to max though. So I'm not really 100% sure whether or not we'll be able to, to take it down or not. So Men's going to max. We are going to see. Yeah, I wonder what it's going to go for. Hopefully not Airstream. I'm hoping it's going to go into Spectre. Like, the double into that slot would make a lot of sense. So I might have been better to go for a max guard here. But we'll see what the damage is like. I mean, damage is incredibly good. It's just if we see... An airstream, it puts us in a bit of an awkward spot. Yeah. Yeah, and we lose Urshifu because of it. But we do get... We do get Ndidi back onto the field. So I think we're going to have to help in hand, help in hand, go into Incineral. Okay, while well, the parting shot coming out, taking us back to neutral, which isn't great. Mm. Might have been better to bring in something like Torkoal there, knowing how important that Urshifu was. <clears throat> okay, stack attacker, well...
We've got the opportunity now where we can go after the Salamence. And maybe between... Yeah, I think we might be alright, you know. Just Mudshot is not the strongest of attacks. So we'll get the Psychic Train back up onto the field. I wonder if we could just target the, the stack attacker. Because I feel like... Mm, is the Salamence going to attack here? Because there is the option where we could just go Max Phantasm into the stack attacker and get rid of it. I think it might be better doing that, you know. Yeah, let's go after the stacker. Just if it switches into Incineroar, it's a little bit awkward. Wow, we still outspeed the Salamence. Okay. Okay, well, we get rid of the stack attacker, which is good. Salomon's probably going to go for an airstream again, I would imagine. It's the last turn of our max turns, but we are taking advantage of Spectre. Um, and we do have Follow Me support still. Incineral can come in, but it can't really disrupt with Fake Out, which is always good. Um, okay. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. I think we're going to be alright now because the Shadow Ball should take the Salomon's down. Um, and then we've got. Torkoal to, to deal with the Incineral, which it should be able to do fine. So I think we'll be okay unless we see Max Guard and then them take down the Indeedy here. Okay, well, another Intimidate coming out. Can't believe the power of Spectria, though. It's such a strong Pokemon. It's crazy good. But I feel like the, the support that Indeedy offers it is in, just incredible. Um, yeah, let's just go for a Shadow Ball and. Just go follow me this turn, I think. We want to avoid the Salamence. It's definitely going to outspeed us now, even though it didn't the previous turn. Uh, it definitely will after two airstreams, plus two speed. It's definitely going to get the jump on us, so we can't really risk taking an attack there. Um, even if we do lose Spectre to the Incineroar here, then it should be fine. Yeah, there's a max quit. Mm, okay. This may change things, because the special defense boost definitely helps out the Incineroar and the Salamence. <laughs> Are we going to have enough to get? Maybe we would have been better. Double protect in there. But we do get it. So we're still... Let's see what the Incineroar does. Spectre may be able to take an attack from the Incineroar. Depending on what it's got. If it's got something like Darkest Lariat, it's going to be a lot more problematic for sure. Levitz. Can we take this? Hopefully we can. I don't know. Yeah, we can take that. Okay, that's that's fine. Ooh, the burn is not not helpful at all, uh, but the recoil damage is useful. Um, I mean, the burn doesn't really affect it. It just it just adds a an awkward layer. But I mean, uh, a mud slap or a mud shot, mud slap, mud shot, and an earth power should be enough to get the incineral here. Because what are we on now? Like, what's our special defense? Ah, we're special attack. We're plus two. So, yeah, I mean, this should still be doing a good chunk of damage. And the earth part should be enough to pick up the incineral. And the battle was cancelled. Okay, so we would have we would have won that comfortably, even though we had reservations about it okay well very good game to my opponent that's two nice games for us there today um and i'll jump over and get us a rental code for the team okay before i throw up the new rental code i'm gonna have to take a team down we only get five slots available so what i'm gonna do is take down the reggie drago team that we've got up there at the minute if anyone wants to have this team up again and made available let me know i've got a second switch so i can put it over onto that cart and um, but do let me know down in the comment section below and i will throw those pokemon over for you and um, but i feel like it's probably not one of the best performing videos it's not it's not had the most views so for that reason that's why the team will come down and we'll make way for this spectre one which i feel is a very good team it's very kind of linear and what it's kind of aiming to do um but it's got a lot of really strong mods that can be very effective in this this current format so there is the team my friends hopefully you enjoy it the spectre that as always there will be the poker pits down below but we've got the spectre the hatterene the venusaur indeedy tokol and urshifu so 
Hope you have a lot of fun with it. It is an extremely fun team. I'll be playing it a lot and uh, enjoying it. I think I can't really believe the power of Spectre, especially with a spell tag and then that helping hand boost from Ndidi. Taking down uh, Tempo Finney was a big surprise, but um, a nice one at that. So we'll wrap things up there, friends. If you've enjoyed the episode, do consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Uh, you could drop a like on the video as well. It goes a long way and I really appreciate it. And um, we'll wrap things up there and I'll see you for another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.